Hi right, everyone, today I want to show how to connect a UBEC to your existing ESC. A UBEC is very useful if, you're, if you've got a bigger plane and you want a little bit of insurance just in case your ESC burns out. First thing you want to do is take the RX wire coming from your ESC and if you aren't sure what's positive and what's negative, like this one, the color is kind of wacky, go and plug in your battery to your ESC. And with your uh, handy dandy voltmeter, find out what's positive and what's negative. I'm pretty sure the middle is positive and then the one on the right hand side is here is negative, but I'll go ahead and test it. All right, so there you go, 5.01 volt coming from the uh, ESC. So I'm, I'm sure that the red one here is positive and this brown one's a negative. So what I, what I want to do from there is I just, instead of cutting out, um, you'll notice on your UBC of the input, on this side is a positive and negative. And on the output, you also have a positive and negative. And um, what I do is your RX wires, I just pluck it out. There's just a little tab here that holds the uh, wires in. I just pluck it out. That's the negative and the positive. Um, so positive and negative and all I'll be doing is taking the output of this sticking that in there like that and then the negative from the UBC into the negative and then from here, you still have your signal wire going to your ESC, but all you're doing is taking the power from the BEC. And from there, I want to make sure I plug that it out. And you've just got your negative, your positive. And you want to take, you want to go ahead and either solder it straight to your ESC wire here. Um, and as a demo, I'll just go and solder it on. So now you've got your input going to straight to your power. You've got your um, power from your UBC going into the RX wire with the signal wire still intact to the ESC. And um, make sure you put some kind of electrical tape or whatever on these ends. You don't want those touching your short your ESC out. And that simply now plugs into your receiver. Okay. Okay, so a, as a quick wrap up here, just keep in mind your positive and negative from the input straight to your line that goes to the battery. So basically just getting power from the battery. And of course this is just a demo so I'm not putting any uh, shrink wrap on the positive and negative but that's very important you should do that. That goes into the input, output goes to the positive and negative of the um, plug that goes into the RX. You want to keep the signal wire still intact going to the RX, I mean ESC. Then from there uh, that just plugs straight into your receiver. Battery plugs in. Transmitter on. And there you go, I got a solid light. So now your 
basically bypassing the power from the BEC from the ESC and getting it from your external BEC. This is very useful in the case you blow up your ESC in flight, you still got servo control, RX control. Thanks for watching.